All right, welcome back everyone. Appreciate y'all being here today. So we're going to continue the Christmas theme that we did the last video um, with more Christmas markets. This is the European Christmas Markets 2023 edition. Now, I don't know if this is going through like the best one in each country. I don't know if it's doing cities. So I'm very curious to see what they have to say. But uh, yeah, it's, it's Christmas time and I just want to try to switch it up a little bit here and, and kind of get a feel for things because, you know, I don't really see this much here in the states i'm sure it exists i just don't see it much so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get started on this european christmas markets of 2023 isn't it just magical when europe's ancient cities light up during christmas yes imagine cobblestone yes, squares of old oh. sparkling under fairy lights and often sprinkled with snow while germany's been hosting these festive gatherings since the 1400s there's a slew of other European spots with Christmas 1400s. markets that are just wow. as mesmerizing. And let me tell you, the food, a total game changer. As you stroll, you'll be tempted by everything from bratwurst and glue vine to grog, pierogi, and that old plum man, oh man. So, stick around as I guide you through Europe's best Christmas market destinations this 2023. Before we begin, make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button. You can also turn on the notification bell to keep you updated on my next uploads. Now, let's get into it. Starting off the list at number 10 is Vienna, Austria. Oh, Did you know? Those lights are so cool. The little ones that come down like that. I mean, I'm sure they're very common, but that's cool. That's since 1296, cool. Vienna has been dazzling visitors with its Christmas market magic. I've wandered through many markets in Vienna, wow. and each has its distinct charm. Rathausplitz, right in front of the stunning town hall, probably tops the popularity charts. With over 150 chalets, it's among Europe's grandest. Whether you're hunting for unique gifts or craving a delicious treat, this place has you covered. And oh, their blue vine, a must try. For those chasing an old world charm, Spittlebird Christmas Market is your go-to. But if you ask for my personal favorite, yeah. it has to be the Altweiner Christmas Market at Fryum. Set amidst a serene park, its laid back and quaint vibe is a winner. Sipping hot chocolate and biting into a slice of Vienna's signature soccer tort is definitely pure bliss. Jeez, so, look mark your calendars stuff. as the magic Big old Christmas from tree. November 11, 2023 to oh, January 4th, 2024. Oh, okay. Next at number 9 is Bohemia, Czech Republic. For those of you craving a genuine Christmas atmosphere paired with breathtaking architecture, let me take you on a little journey beyond Prague. They host some of the dreamiest Christmas markets I've ever seen. Walking through Cheska Bu to the Ovitsa city square, the blend of Gothic and classical architecture left me spellbound. Market stalls buzzed with life, offering intricate wooden toys and in- Okay, so I gotta be honest. I'm not a massive Christmas fan, and it's not, it's not the holiday itself because I, I think the holiday is magical. I think it, it has the opportunity to be beautiful. I mean, look at these markets, you know, especially when you get that picturesque, perfect wake up and there's snow on the ground and everybody's just sitting around, you know, chit-chatting and, and, you know, drinking hot chocolate and just having a good time and spending quality time with your family. I hate how overblown the gift-giving portion of it's been. I'm not much of a... I don't like receiving gifts. I love giving gifts. I love making people happy. Um, but... Just seeing these, it's like it's it's like it's flipping this little switch in my head, and I'm I'm eight years old again, just all giddy about Christmas, and I think that's what I love so much about these Christmas markets is they're beautiful, and they have so many different things that you can look at, and you know things you can try and purchase, and it just seems like everybody's kind of coming together and just having a good quality time. I think that's what I like the most about these. Enchanting Christmas decorations and the spicy old wine was pure warmth in a glass. And then this sesky the music in the background. It felt like stepping into a Disney wow. movie, untouched and dripping with Baroque beauty. Oh, it does feel like a Disney movie. The backdrop of a truly romantic That's what was going through the back of my head. I'm like, what does this feel like? Town Hall Square. Disney the fairy movie. lights danced overhead. Old school Disney and the scent movie. Of fresh not, not cookies modern. and sizzling sausages filled the air. This year's event starts on November 24th, 2023 to January 1st, 2024. Wow, Next that lasts in line at number time. 8 is Bratislava, Slovakia. The magic I felt in Bratislava was reminiscent of childhood dreams. The twinkle of fairy lights adorned Christmas trees everywhere. And as I strolled by the market stalls, the craftsmanship of traditional just... wooden toys and stunning Christmas ornaments caught my eye. 
And if you're a food lover like me... I just love European cities, man. I just... You know, like, I, I think of New York City, and I absolutely have zero desire to ever go to, like, New York, Chicago, Los Angeles. You know, I've been to New Orleans, and I don't have a desire to go back. But I just think of those cities, and even New York, I would love to see covered in snow at Christmas. I mean, like, it's just... But these just feel like he said, like a Disney movie. It feels like a fairy tale. Dive right these European into the cities, I just I love them. Pancakes, sausages, and mouth-watering cakes. It's a treat for both the eyes and the taste buds. This year, their markets will welcome visitors from November 23rd, 2023 to December 23rd, 2024. Coming in at number seven is Gothenburg, Sweden. Forget what you know about typical amusement parks, because Gothenburg transforms into one of the classiest open-air wow. Christmas markets I've ever seen. No outdated rides or tacky decorations in sight. Even though there's an entrance wow. fee of around $12, trust me, That's fine. it's worth every penny. I found myself there I was from expecting more. to 10 p.m. <laughs> on most days, That's perfect. indulging in smoked reindeer treats and sipping on some delicious glug, that irresistible Scandinavian mulled wine. And if you're bringing kids, the entertainment is top-notch and far from the usual cheesy stuff. Swing by Santa's authentic wooden workshop, enjoy the bumper cars, nice. and make sure to catch the mesmerizing half-hour ice show. It's a magical experience. The good news is that from November 19 to December 30th, 2023, you can have a chance to experience the magic of Liesburg too. I just Next need to fly to Europe and experience this. Salzburg, France. Now, if you'd like to witness a scene grabbed straight from a vivid storybook, Strasbourg is for you. And trust me, the capital of Christmas isn't an exaggeration. Everywhere I looked, from the towering Strasbourg Cathedral wow. to the massive 30-meter tall tree in the square, the festival was undeniable. The streets were a festive spectacle. Teddy bear-themed hotels, the radiant Notre Dame Cathedral, and lanes adorned with angels. It was pure holiday magic. With a plethora of food, drinks, and unique get Okay, he said it in there. I just want to ask, is it Notre Dame or Notre Dame? Because we have, well, I say Notre Dame University for, you know, I sports fan. I think of Notre Dame, but is it Notre Dame or Notre Dame? Say one or two. Notre Dame's number two. Yes, I recommend soaking it all in. There's so much to explore with markets spread across the city. One place that this. captivated my taste buds I was just, the market of the so invincible small producers of Alsace. Their brioche-like cake is something to dream about. And remember, Strasbourg's Christmas markets will run from November 25th to December 26th, 2023. Don't miss it. Let's continue with number five, Prague, Czech Republic. The heart of Prague, the old town square, boasted the largest Christmas market oh, in the Prague. entire Czech Republic. Amidst wooden stalls, Local merchants showcased a trove of traditional Czech treasures. For the adults, the tantalizing mulled wine was a treat, but everyone, young and old, couldn't resist the array of Czech delicacies. From Christmas biscuits and roasted chestnuts to gingerbread and classic Czech sausages, the feast was endless. For families, visiting the Old Town Square is a must. My heart warmed seeing children excitedly approach the patient animals like sheep and donkeys eager for a little pat or picture. Mm. If you're thinking of a festive getaway, Prague should top your list. I even found some amazing tours and activities, like a scenic dinner cruise, offering unique perspectives of this Christmas wonderland. This year's event starts on December 3rd, 2023 to January 6th, 2024. Next at number... I'm just going to say, man, Prague is a beautiful city. Wow. Number four is Budapest, Hungary. Budapest. For the third consecutive year, the Advent Basilica in Budapest has been crowned the best Christmas market in Europe. I was absolutely mesmerized by its beauty when I visited, easily understanding why it's considered among the top Christmas fairs across Europe. Under the heartfelt banner where love takes your hand, the enchanting Christmas market of the Advent Basilica welcomed me. Though the tradition of this market is only 13 years old, it captivated me with its festive vibes. Around 120 local artisans showcased their crafts, and the culinary delights promised authentic Hungarian flavors. The vibe oh, was authentically Christmas, making St. Stephen's Square in Budapest feel like the heart of the holiday season. One highlight I'd recommend to anyone is the mesmerizing light show on the Gerboat House facade. Every evening no, that's at 7 cool. p.m., 
It illuminated the surroundings, and trust me, it's a spectacle not to be missed. While the market officially opens from November 11th to January 1st, make sure you carve out time in your itinerary. And a personal tip, don't leave without savoring traditional Hungarian treats like the crispy langos or the deep-fried flatbread and spiral kurtoskalax. You don't also have to convince me, buddy. I'm a fatty. <laughs> I want that food. At number three on the list is Berlin, Germany. If you're scouting for cutting-edge Christmas gifts or a thrilling toboggan ride, Berlin has your back. The heart of the city boasts around 80 Christmas markets. And believe it or oh. not, there's even one just for our free canine friends. But oh, here's cool. a piece of advice. That's cool. Don't attempt to visit them all. If size impresses you, head straight to Spandau. It's the grandest. But for sheer beauty, nothing beats the Weinitz Schauber, nestled in the stunning Gendarmen Mark Square. It's an artist's paradise with a bounty of arts and crafts. I just love those, those lights. craving some adrenaline, Potsdamer Platz's Winter World was my go-to. This place is less about retail therapy and more about embracing the chilly sports of the season. From tobogganing to curling, and even an ice skating rink that offers free lessons for the little ones, it's a winter wonderland. You may want to arrive by 10 a.m. to beat the crowds. The market will run from November 25th to December 26th, 2023. Next at number two on the list is Salzburg, Austria. Salzburg. Known for the best carols and their ancient traditions, Salzburg Christmas markets truly shine. Here, I found myself enveloped in the snowy echoes of Silent Night, a carol that originated just a stone's throw away. The market stalls, which seemed frozen in the 15th century, prioritized authenticity over commercialism. Rather than picking up kitschy souvenirs, I was drawn to hand-knitted sarks and oh, okay. traditional That's crafts. Perfect. And for the purest dose There's of something pure joy, about that. There's I'd something recommend attending the genuine, complimentary more daily genuine concerts about that. Like that. at 5 p.m. near the cathedral. Or, if you're feeling spirited, join in the carol sing-alongs every Tuesday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. This year's event starts on November 23, 2023 to January 1, 2024. Before we go to the top of this list, be sure to like this video. If you want to know more about traveling, I have more videos about it that you can check on the channel. While you're at it, please do subscribe. Don't be shy to click the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our future uploads. And now, the number one on the list is Cologne, Germany. When I visited Cologne, Germany, I quickly understood why it's one of the most beloved Christmas markets in Europe. The city is adorned with seven distinct markets, each offering a unique theme. One of the highlights for me was the Cologne Cathedral Market. Located right in front of the majestic cathedral, this market boasts live music, an imposing Christmas tree, and the alluring warmth of mulled wine. Another personal favorite was the Angels Market in Newmarket Square. It's among the city's most traditional markets, and I was utterly charmed by women dressed as angels, generously distributing sweets to delighted children. Not to mention the beautiful carousel and the exquisite mix, cool. perfect That's, keepsakes. Yeah. Also, the Nicholas Village in Rudolf Platz is a must visit. Its half timbered buildings create the ambience of a genuine village. It still surprises me to think that by January, this intricate village would be disassembled. If you're planning a trip, remember that the Cologne Christmas Market will run from November 21st to December 23rd, 2023. And there you go. Those are the best European Christmas markets this 2023. I hope you can see these wonders before the year ends. Again, please make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button. Which of these Christmas markets would you like to experience? Share your experience in the comments section below. Until next time. Now, I don't know if I can answer which one I'd like to experience. I mean, I, I want to experience all of them. <laughs> if I had to pick one, I don't know if I could, man. I, I don't know if I could. I really don't. I mean, I, I like, is it the, the Austria? The, is it Salzburg? I can't remember which one he said. Tried to be a little bit more like authentic instead of cheap, you know, cheap, cheap trinkets. They try to be more authentic with their things, a lot more handcrafted. There's something about the city of Prague that has always piqued my interest, but maybe I'm just overlooking this because these kind of videos warm my childish spirit up a little bit in me. And and but to me, you know, with America being more of a corporation than a country, it just seems like the European countries are just 
more in touch with their citizens and more trying to make everybody happy. I don't know. I could be wrong with that because um, I've never been at, had the opportunity to visit one of these. You know, some of the shots look absolutely gorgeous. Some of the shots look like it's absolutely packed. So, if you have been to Christmas markets, please let me know down below. Are they really that nice? I mean. I don't want to say the word magical because obviously if you've been to it multiple times it doesn't have the same effect on you but are they really that nice are they really that beautiful to look at and fun to walk around with your family because it seems like everybody's having a good time it seems like it's a beautiful place to be at and maybe that's just the the child in me wanting to come out and and fall in love with christmas again i don't know but uh yeah, let me know in the comments down below if they really are that magical. So thank you all so much for being here. Like the video if you haven't already. Share it out with all your friends. Consider subscribing to the channel. Um, it, it's free for you. It helps me out tremendously. But yeah, thank you all so much for being here, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.